Well, as the nation celebrates 47 years since Jerusalem was reunified during the Six-Day War, IBA's Ari O'Sullivan hit the streets of the capital to see how people feel about the city. It has been an eventful week for Jerusalem. First a whirlwind visit by the Pope and then tens of thousands of Israelis descended into the capital to celebrate Jerusalem Day. <laughs> Jerusalem Day not only celebrates the liberation of the city, but it's the day the capital celebrates the city itself. Jerusalem is probably the most diverse city in Israel. Its 800,000 residents live in a mosaic of neighborhoods from Muslim to Christian, Jewish, ultra-Orthodox, secular. Many people here can't really recall the divided city before 1967. And most people don't tolerate the sentimental talk about the holy city. They just get on with their lives, oblivious to the fact that they're part of a vital historic vision being fulfilled. The Central Bureau of Statistics released figures saying that Jerusalem is the poorest of all of Israel's large cities and increasingly religious. The Jews that like believe in God and help each other and live a Torah lifestyle, there's a lot of unity among them. The ones that are against the Torah, the government, the police, the Arabs, maybe a little less, but where we try to we try to make everybody happy, we try to unify everybody. I'm not religion, so it's difficult, but we find the, the way. I have another way and I live my way. And I live in peace in my, my family, my friends, but you feel a little bit of uh, the problem, the conflict. The main Machane Yehuda market has become one of the city's hotspots, not just for its fruits and vegetables, but for its cafes and bars. This is actually the new spot, also in the daytime, also in the nighttime. All over, it's coming out from all over the countries, all over the world, come from Tel Aviv, from Israel, young, uh, um, old. Everybody's coming to the market. 37% of the city are Muslim Arabs and enjoy the benefits of Israeli services. But many say they don't feel a part of the greater city. It's not united with us. We are Palestinian. So the United, you know, they are, they are celebrating the United for Israeli people only. And there is a big, big space, big, you know, big gap that's to be united. There is a mental sense that the city is still divided, but it is seeing record numbers of visitors. I actually experienced the change in 1967 and with all the difficulties and all the constraints and all the diversity of populations and sometimes there are tensions, in spite of all that, Jerusalem's public domain is free for all. Despite it all, or because of it all, the survey also found that 88% of Jerusalemites are satisfied with their lives, which is higher than the rest of the country. Happy Jerusalem Day. When IDF paratroopers stormed